Okay, hello everyone. This is Aaron from Full Impact Studios, a custom web design shop for Magento. I am going to run through day two or uh, video two of creating products inside Magento. And today we're going to go over uh, c creating a configurable product. In our last video, I showed you how to create simple products which are tied to configurable products. And today, for this video, I'm going to show you how to do configurable products. So I've got several here. Uh, I'm going to also show you how to duplicate uh, a configurable product, which takes away a, a, a lot of steps for having to, to recreate a new one. So to create a new one, I'm just going to run through here uh, to the right-hand side, Add Product. I'm going to select the Attribute Set. We've already got an Attribute Set for Tops, which is what I will be working on today. This is going to be a configurable product. Continue. From here, we're going to be for uh, for this one. It's going to be top size, uh, not related to color or manufacturer. So it will be top size. Will be our attribute set for this configurable product. And here you can see it's exactly the same, or almost exactly the same as creating a simple product. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to type in the product name, and this one is going to be by Frontal. And the SKU for this one, we'll just put test for right now. I'm going to enable this product. I'm going to set its tax class to taxable good. <clears throat> the URL key, you don't need to input because it's going to pull it from the name of the product. Visibility on this is going to be catalog search. If you remember in the last video, it was not visible individually. That's because it was a single product, which is going to be tied to a configurable. Whereas here, this is the actual configurable product that the people are going to see, the shoppers are going to see on the front end of the website. So catalog search. Uh, manufacturer is Calafia. Color for this one is black. Uh, we're going to go to pricing, and we're going to add the price. This is just a test price. Uh, everything else is, stays the same. Meta information, I would add that information in here. I'm not going to do that at this point. That is more SEO related, um, which I can touch on in another video. Images, we're going to go ahead and browse for image files. Here we're going to go to, let's say, go to desktop. I'm going to find uh, an arena, and then I'm going to find by frontal. I'm going to upload the file. You want to keep the file size down on the images as much as possible. Um, that's an important piece to Magento. Um, optimizing every image is, is important, uh, just because uh, Magento is. is heavy server has it's heavy on the server basically it makes a lot of calls to the server um, for numerous shoppers numerous visitors um, a single visitor um, it remembers every single push and every single call to the database for every user for multiple actions on a single page so it, it's very server intensive so optimizing in every single possible way is is the best with magento so I'm going to browse for another file here. I need the back image. I guess I didn't load that one. I'll upload this one. Okay. Roll over for the preview of the image so you can see the image itself. Front and back. Okay, so we've set the sort order to one for the front view, two for the back view. And for this purpose of the website, the way it's set up, all three of the images, base, small, and thumbnail, are going to be for the front. Uh, from here, we're going to go to description. And let's see, I'm just going to copy some of what we already have, which is just test description information for now. So we'll copy this, dump that in here. Here, second one doesn't matter because it doesn't show on the website, but for this purpose, we have to have it in the store. So, um, design 
nothing in regards to custom design. Now we go straight to inventory. I want to make sure it's set to in stock. And this is a little touchy here. So in in the simple products, you're setting the inventory and setting to in, setting to in stock and enabling it so that it's available. But you have to ha also have to set it here to say that this item is actually in stock. So uh, that could be confusing for some people. So websites, if you have multiple websites, you tie them here. Categories, make sure we are set this product to the proper categories. And it's going to be Ariana tops and the boutique and then here is what makes the difference between a simple product and a um, configurable product we're now going to associate the products in this simple product so we're going to go find the biofrontal I think it's on page two uh, let's see if I Nope, it's not in this one, so it's page three. And let's see, bifrontals at the bottom. So as you can see, it checks off your size choices as you add them. So there you go. All four, as you can see, I can't add any more. So for this purpose, we've got everything there and done. Everything's all good. We're going to hit uh, save and continue. And then uh, we are going to go to the website itself. We are then going to go to the boutique tops, Lariana, and we're actually going to be changing this uh, to add the title at the top so it makes it easier um, uh, let's see here we go quick view this is the one we just added by frontal and there we go loads up pretty fast we had a nice uh, zoom Roll over here, we made it clickable as well so you get the full image size. And you can still adjust spacing, okay. Um, size, as you can see, all the sizes are tied based on the attributes, and we're good to go. So, back to the store, and here we are going to show you how to duplicate. Now, uh, I'm going to erase the duplicate product when we're done, but uh, here we'll do a duplicate. So all we got to do once you've created a product is to hit the uh, duplicate. Actually, let's go back and change. Let's just save this product. I need to change the SKU. I'll do that real quick. That way you can see how that's done. Just because I didn't have it set up for it. So we're going to go in here and copy this SKU because it's the same product line. I usually do most of my products. Uh, by duplicate, so creating a new one was uh, I didn't copy the, the SKU, so we'll go back go to my frontal and the proper SKU so this one is going to be by frontal and then we save then I also want to show you something as well on how I set up the structure for configurable products. So for here, configurable products, if you'll see the SKU here, I used uh, the two first letters of the product line, the product name, and then config. And you'll see why when we go into Manage Catalog, View All Products. So you kind of see a swap in difference. Okay, I don't want to have that. Uh, let's just go to nothing. Hit search. Okay, so this will be 
everything configurable and simple based on the order it was uploaded you can see by the number here but um, these actually have names in the actual title field the name field and that's because these are the configurable and you can see here they're configurable and then here's the SKU and then when you go to the actual product I switch it so here you have the name which has the size so it has bifrontal large medium small extra small and then over here you have the actual SKU of the product which is tied and related to the inventory so that's pretty important as well in making sure that you structure um, the SKU and the product name flip-flopped uh, in such a way that you can easily see them and manage them from within the store so um, okay that's it for that so we're gonna go to okay let's go to buy frontal and let's say I wanted to create another one where I've got to create multiple um, configurable products so we can do is, all we do is here is go up go into an existing configurable product select duplicate it erases the SKU field go back to top size for this one and continue I'm gonna leave it disabled just because I'm gonna delete this when I'm done so you can see it pulls over the name it would be the new SKU so whatever the new product is like this would be say bifrontal 2 if there was another we enable it, taxable good, all of it. Just basically, most of the settings are already still set for you. Pricing is still going to be there. Um, description is still going to be there. Uh, let's see. Inventory is going to set to out of stock, so you need to make sure you set that to in stock. Websites is already going to be set. Categories is already going to be set for you. Um, the only thing that's going to change is associated. Uh, you need to associate the products. So you can see there's no products associated to it. A lot of people get lost with this too. Is that Sometimes Magento has this quirk. I think it should load product and information right away, but it doesn't. So you're actually going to need to go over here and click Reset Filter. And then it will show you the actual products. Um, so then for this purpose, we would go through and we would you know, click four different products to add them to the store. And then we go back to, is it general? Oh no, images. I want to run by images. So it does actually load the images in. And then what you do in this purpose is you just select. So we want a new image for the main image. The back is going to stay the same. We would just check off remove. And then when you hit browse files, upload the new file. So in other words, I could go grab a different one here just to do it. Um, let's see, Raviana, I'll grab it, Amarada, uh, I'll click upload here, but I don't want to upload another one into the, into the media center just because I want to reduce the files, but you would just click upload here, it would upload that file, once that file is uploaded, you would just then go in and change the order, so in other words, this one's been tagged to be removed, the new one will upload down below, you change that one to the one because that's going to be its placement then check off these radio buttons for the lower image um, and then you'll be all set so that uh, pretty much is it and then you just hit uh, save and you'll have a duplicate of the product and it saves you a lot of time so again these are configurable products creating a configurable product within Magento uh, if you need help with your Magento project or website, feel free to uh, get in touch with us. Uh, shoot us an email at sales at fiswebdesign.com. This has been Aaron, and uh, expect some more videos to be coming soon. Have a great day.